Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Pixel Piracy. And, of course, to our as-yet-still-unnamed ship. Every single time I start a recording, I think, oh, yeah, the ship hasn't been named yet. I'm going to have to name it. Huh. One day, one day I might actually do that. Now then, with today's episode, I promise you some tougher fights. Now, we're going to avoid the islands for the time being. The islands are a little bit of a... Well, they've got a much broader range between the easiest level whatever island and the hardest same level island. So there are some level two islands, which I don't think we could take on right now. But I think we've got a decent chance at going for a level three ship. So that is the first thing that we are going to do today. Now, unfortunately, my cough is uh, flaring up a little bit today. I'm still not entirely over the, the uh, chest infection, or at the very least, I'm not entirely over the coughs that I had during the chest infection. Uh, coughs are being what they are, tend to take a little bit longer to repair. Uh, but uh, I will probably be cutting out here and there while I'm uh, having a cough, and hopefully I will remember to cut all of that out of the video. But if I don't, here's your forewarning. All right, we've got to fix up some unhappy sailors. Uh, might need to dock first. Let's have a look. Everyone is a little bit down in the dumps, aren't you? Well, all right. Hopefully we do, in fact, have enough uh, rum that we can plonk down on the ship to deal with all of these rather poor moves. On the plus side, we're about to get into a big old fight, which may well result... Uh, yeah, this is a decent fight, but uh, may well result in enough gold for us to take care of everything. All right, everyone. Uh, pretty much need everyone over here. Go, 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 go. We need to get Oh yonder. You can bring your fishing rod. I'm not going to unequip the fishing rod. You're just going to have to get better at using it in combat, okay? All right, okay. there we go. Let's everyone get on them. There we go. One down. Everyone on them. There we go. Just juggle them a bit. It's fine. Next up, go for this one. There we are. Just take them down. As long as we can focus our fire, we should be able to easily win these fights. We are quite competent at this point, even with high health enemies. We've got so many people with uh, specialist skills that we should be fine. We actually did manage to grab a little bit of gold there. That's not too bad at all. Only the captain needs to stay on the ship to interact with things. And there we are. We'll find what we got. We've got another auto elixir, another 60 gold. Not bad at all. Let's get back to the ship and then blow this one up, and hopefully we will have a decent bit of cash that we can then use to pay salaries. Wow, okay, that was actually very good. 210 gold. Much better than I was expecting. Most of it is going to have to go to salaries. Sad, but indeed true. That being said, I could reduce the pay needed a little bit, maybe, by giving out some tobacco. Yes, it's going to nix there. Uh, vitality for now, but that should be okay for now. Uh, hi, Kaiser. You don't need it as much. There we go. Mousy Karina doesn't do to have the captain in a grump. Now, your knife. Let's go ahead and try and upgrade that. Cannon Mastery. Ooh. Now, that one's a very interesting one. <clears throat> let's see. We've got our cook... I think I will have our cook also man the guns. Sure, you can grab the guns and also be good at sailing. You'll be able to help us level up a bit. Now, we could use this treasure map at this point. Don't have a shovel yet, though. So I want to wait until we do. Once we do have a shovel, then we can, of course, use that to try and uh, dig up buried treasure. And for now, I'm going to continue to pump up people's intelligence and agility. I mostly want them to be able to dodge incoming damage, but we do need to get a, a decent passive experience gain as well if we want them to be able to get uh, properly trained up. I do not know how many skills we're going to have to build up here. I was genuinely expecting it only to be two or three columns, but the fact that it's gone into a fourth has thrown out the window what I thought I knew. So we'll see how that goes for the time being. But uh, that wasn't a bad engagement there. We've got a little bit of scurvy, but we have got citrus around. We shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Now let's have a look at what we've unlocked. Some neutral level threes, plenty of them, a level four. 
that is very much outside our ability to deal with right now. But I think we're going to hit up uh, a couple of level 3s and then hang back to this level 2 island where we will then be able to pop down some extra fruit or maybe even some rum onto the deck and see what we can do at that point. Neutral encounter. Tis a bunch of fishermen. Very high health fishermen, I must say. First the person across is, of course, our fisher, uh, who will then quickly be able to wipe them out. Let's just uh, get everyone in there. There we go. Everyone focus fire, please. There we are. It is so much better to just focus fire in pretty much every game. I don't think there are very many games where it isn't better to focus fire. There are some, though, where the uh, game will cause a uh, unit to get worse at doing damage to you the lower their health is and in those instances sometimes it will be worth spreading out your damage to like disable abilities that can only exist at the highest health for example um the, the first example that jumps to my mind is is zelda and the master sword or rather link in the master sword uh where you have to have full hearts to be able to use the special attack of the master sword in that case if you're facing enemies in that kind of scenario, you'd want to spread out a little bit of damage to everyone just to disable their most powerful attack. Right, with that done, though, we've got a goodly bit of cash to our name. Ooh, level four island up there. Now, that one looks like an interesting one. That one looks like a very interesting one. There I'd very much like to go and say hello to, but we're not going to just yet. No, no. We're going to continue to explore, hit a couple of level three hostiles, and then maybe, maybe. But uh, what I would like to do is get a couple more people on board if I can. I would very much like to expand out our crew, if possible, for, before we start taking on level fours. Uh, already we're starting to see high level enemies. Right, let's get everyone together at the front of the ship so that we can all board the enemy ship more or less at the sa same time. Let's go, go, go. That way we'll all appear more or less as a group and just be able to just get in there as quickly as we can take out the high health opponent then kind of just deal with the low health opponents as they come to us i don't again as much as it is useful to focus fire uh, at this point well i was going to say at this point it's not necessary but my captain's the only one doing any bloody work my lord maybe if they were boarders they would prioritize attacking the enemy well that may well be the case We've got rid of the meat, though, so I can replace that with a proper hull block. And once we've got a door, this will be uh, internal. Uh, I do believe that that does actually make a bit of a difference. Uh, there we go. Got a nice 210 gold as well. And once again, barely any damage to our crew. Uh, oh. Okay. Sunland. A level 4. Uh, we're seeing quite a lot of interesting islands up over yonder. Quite tempted to go and say hello, but for now, still going to err on the side of caution. We're going to continue on to this neutral enemy. Once we've got over a thousand gold, we can go and uh, do a big recruiting spree. Also, buy a bunch of new blocks for the ship as well. Hostile encounter. What are we going to do, Captain? Engage them, of course. It didn't look like, oh my good lord. Uh, um, I think we may have been ambushed because it was only showing like 20 or 30% or of our way to our destination up there. Yeah, I think this was an ambush. They've got a cat, a ship's cat. I like it. I love the design of the ship. Multiple layers. I very much like this. But I'm not super happy about the fact we're going to have to fight them. Uh, right, okay. Well, let's have a quick look first. Let's uh, pump up some points. There we go. Get the dodge chance up a little bit. And the same over here. Take your dodge ch chance up to 45. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to have to get over there. Now, this really does feel like a very big ship. We're very lucky that they don't have cannons. Oh, no. No, no. Everyone together. Amazing. Right, let's go. Now, I'm going to have to control this one a little bit more specifically. 13188. We've got a lot of high damage dealers down there. Uh, actually, while we're all together, just everyone get in and attack that one. There we go. 
We are going to have to try our hardest to take out the weaker opponents first. We need to reduce the incoming damage as quickly as we can. And I can't even see which one to attack now. Uh, there we go. That's another one down. Nice work. We're not going to attack the animals, but now it's just a massive mess. So, just everyone get on this one. There we go. We will make them the lowest health enemy in order to attack. Still doing okay so far. Realistically, I'm quite surprised by how well our group is doing. I was expecting a fight like this to be a lot more dangerous, but our special abilities, considering how many people have them, is really, really helping us here. The fact that we're able to get all of the stuns off is fantastic for us. And it looks like we didn't actually take too much damage there. Very, very happy. Alright, let's get everyone else up there. I don't know if the captain has to be the one to walk over things, but maybe they do. Uh, either way... Uh, see, the thing is... We either kill the cat so that it doesn't, you know, suffer the fate of drowning, or we just drown the cat. Or I suppose we could just not plunder the ship. In the words of Fagin, it's wrong to be a rogue in every way. I will leave this ship, but we're just going to go. You've inherited the ship. It's even got a sail, cat. I wanted that sail, but you can have it. No. Tempting, but no. We are going to move on. Our souls unburdened. Uh, we are going to go and check out this island down here. Uh, yeah, it does look like we just got uh, snagged in a fight that we weren't looking for. Uh, that might be the, the whole thing about Monster Chance, but let's go to the level 3 island. Uh, I'm emboldened. You haven't plundered or captured the enemy ship? Yes, I know. And uh, we're not going to either. I mean, oh, actually. Hmm. Could I capture the enemy ship? I'd be leaving behind a bunch of stuff. It's mostly the swords that I'd be leaving behind, though. Ah, it's a hell of an upgrade. Uh, Alright. I accept. Goodbye, swords. Yes, I want to capture the enemy ship. This is where everyone drops into the water. No, here we go. Hurrah! Oh, we didn't capture the cat! I feel robbed. Robbed, I tell you. Scallywags. Oh, well. Let's move on to the uh, new islands, because I'm going to actually have to drop down some food uh, right away. Uh, because right now, we don't have any. Uh, that being said, maybe it would have given me a... Uh, a buy just to place down some food. I should have checked that before just sailing off. But the island is pretty close by, and even if we don't go ashore, we'll be able to uh, place down some food whilst we're uh, close to or just docked with it. The sail is actually helping us in terms of our speed, by the way. So sailing around with sails, multiple sails at that, very helpful. Right, food. Oh, my good lord. All right. All of the fish forever, I guess. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, do we have anything else? No, it doesn't look like we do. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. Uh, these are shrimp blocks. I will do my best to slowly replace those. But for the time being, I guess this is what we're going to have. Uh, we'll pop that in. And then I'm going to add in these blocks as well. Uh, also, I'm going to rotate these so the ship actually looks the way it's meant to. There we are. Perfect. Do I really want that over there? Do I have enough sh uh, shrimp blocks to flash this out, I wonder? I might do. Especially if I start taking these away. Uh, sure. There we go. And then hopefully we have enough background blocks that I can fill this area in. And we do. Marvelous. Uh, these are shrimp windows. Okay. Um, not entirely sure why we've got windows <laughs> down here, of all places. In fact, I kind of feel like maybe that's 
not the safest place to put a window. Give me a moment. Okay, there we go. I think this makes for a bit of a nicer ship. I don't pay attention to that. We'll get that fixed uh, a little bit later. But there we are. It's about as good as it's going to be for now. Now, let's have a look at the island that we've uh, come upon. Oh, it's full of plankton. Another tetra bush. Bunch of spiders. Okay, not the worst place for us to show up to, honestly. I think we've got a, a good chance of being able to take this out. But I do need to wait for some food to be made. Our crew are hungry, and they need to have some noms. They're also getting a little bit fed up with uh, not having their wages paid. I will probably get to that in a moment as well. And looking at this, I'm probably going to say that we need to get more cooks. Maybe that is something that we can work on. Uh, additionally, we can definitely expand out this uh, hole down here. I do like having a, a more sensible uh, deck pattern rather than the sloping bowing decks that we had before, but this will do for the time being. You're very unhappy, Apple Fumble, so let's go in there and give you a bit of cash. There we are. That should sort things out. Let's continue to raise agility and agility there. Agility over here as well. Continue to get all of this up where we can. Uh, intelligence will take for Apple Fumble up to 20 passive intelligence. And Mouse Karina, just continue on. Now, what I've been told in the comments is that with regards to dodge chance, you lose 10% dodge for every nearby enemy when you're fighting. So I don't know if that's for every enemy, so you would need at least 10% dodge chance to just not have any malice against avoiding being hit. Um, but... Uh, it might be for every additional enemy that you're uh, in addition to the one that you're targeting. But either way, it does seem that there is a reason to take your dodge chance well above uh, 100%. And around 150, maybe 200, you're probably going to be able to avoid everything coming your way. Right, with that all done, let's get over here and make our way down to fight with the plankton. Uh, we are everyone heading down all at once. There we go. Uh, on that note, I actually haven't checked what kind of skill... Oh my lord, we got a lot of skill points. Uh, okay, well, before we do anything else then, uh, Throwing Dagger is at level 9 of 10, so we definitely don't need to give that to you. That's 6 of 10. Do we have any more Throwing Daggers? Uh, we do, in fact, have an extra Throwing Dagger. You know what? You can grab it. Uh, actually, you're blind. Never mind. You're going to have a rock. Uh, who would I give the throwing dagger to? It can be High Kaiser. There you go. And we will then start upgrading it as well. And there's no point in using it on the Falcon Blade, simply because the Falcon Blade is already level 10. The fishing rod is actually up there. The knife is up there. My lord. Okay, well, I'll guess I'll use it here. We've got a 22% chance of it doing something. Map awareness could build that up a little bit more. Sure, I'm happy to do that. 20 strikes, don't need to give that into you. Combat evasion, can evade attacks. Well, hmm, sure. I'll give it to our captain. Cleaning, not for you. Uh, fishing, cooking, okay. Well, I don't think there is a point in giving cooking to the person who is fishing, because they will focus on fishing rather than cooking. But someone did make the fair point regarding cleaning and cooking. Would you want to cook in a, clean, in a dirty kitchen? No. Therefore, the chef would probably clean the kitchen. That makes sense to me. As someone who cleans the pots and pans as I cook, therefore, when I sit down, the utensils I use to make my meal are already cleaned, and I don't have that looming hanging over my head. Um, you know, I'm not a complete saint. I don't immediately go out and clean my dishes after I've finished eating my meal. Look, we've all got a little little bit of laziness to us, but uh, <laughs> I do when I leave the room. Um... But yeah, so I, I I get where you're coming from. Sure, we'll we'll give cleaning there. Uh, however, I'm not going to give them uh, fishing. I don't think that makes any sense. Uh, I will give it to Amira though. You can go ahead and have cooking. And from now on, you are back in the ship crew. What else we got? We got ship repair. You don't need that one. I could give it to High Kaiser. Sure, I'll give you that. And I think 20 strikes to High Kaiser as well. Don't know what we're going to do with this fishing. There's no point in giving it to anyone until I've actually got a fishing rod to give them regardless. 
Uh, this Kaboom can be exchanged for an Auto Elixir, though. Uh, the Rosary can be exchanged for an Auto Elixir. Honestly, I prefer the idea of us just being able to do clutch healing as needed. All right. Time to get back to the fighting, then. Uh, everyone get involved. There we are. And I should imagine that we will shockingly quickly deal with all of the plankton. They are not a particularly difficult... Oh, no. Why? Why would you do that? I really, really wanted to get the crab meat there. But, okay, I guess. Right, let's take out the uh, spiders as well. Shouldn't take us too much effort, if I'm honest. Though that one did actually take a while to go down. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to lie. Oh, they've got a huge amount of health. Oh, dear. Well, this may go sideways for us if we can't kill them quickly. Right, you've done a good job. Now let's switch around. Take this fight away from the other spiders again. And well done indeed. Now, is there anything over here that I can interact with? Let's have a look. No. Okay, well, let's go over to the tetra bush. We'll crack open these crates and then deal with the spiders as need be. Do need to find a way to domesticate animals, whether they be spiders or chickens, as the case may be. There we go, that's another high health spider there. That one isn't too much of one, so it doesn't matter if that one gets pulled into the fight or not, really. At this point, the amount of our special skills, as long as we don't get overwhelmed, it seems that as long as we've got our special skills there, we will stun lock anything we're fighting, which is kind of crazy good. It, I don't remember it being this easy <laughs> in the past, but I'm very okay with it right now. Uh, food, is it just... Yeah, it is just fish, so we'll pop down some more fish. Uh, is there anything else that I can place, though? Doesn't look it, sadly. All right. Well, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm not super keen on having a shrimp ship, but I mean, it's doing all right so far, I guess. Not too many complaints. Uh, once the captain's weapon is at maximum, I will swap... Oh, actually, there's no point in even having a training group right now. Simply because there is no training to be done. So I guess you can go back on to... Uh, do we have anything? We've got sailing, so I'll pop you into ship crew. Sure, and we'll continue to rise up your agility as well. Everyone is getting some uh, solid level-ups now. Very, very happy with this. Uh, almost everyone up to agility 10. Now, this is going to be the problem when we bring anyone else aboard who isn't a, uh, a high level. They're going to stand out. All of our crew here have got lots of health, and they're very adept at dodging and so on and so forth. That is not always going to be the case. That is probably going to catch us off guard sooner rather than later. Uh, right, well, let's head on down to the neutral here and then on to this level 3 pirate, though. A little bit of me is... Uh, I can feel the hubris. It's tempting me towards the level 4s, even though I know that that is probably a bad move. We desperately need more items in here, though. Tables, chairs, playing cards, plants, paintings. There's lots of things that we want. All right, let's go ahead and engage the neutral encounter. I feel so sorry for all of you. You're only like level, th you've only got like 30 health, some of you. This is so horribly unfair. I don't even. Like you're, you're being rushed by the entire crew of fishermen and it's not even really bothering you at this point. My Lord, what terrible sins did we commit to control such a power? Okay, well, let's get back. One day, we will accidentally Amazing. capture a ship like this and say goodbye to a ship like this. And that will be our punishment. There we go. 200 gold, mind you. We're now up to 1,000 gold. That is actually looking pretty bloody good. Now, we do need to get back to the shops that we've seen previously. Uh, we could head up there, perhaps. But we're going to start cutting across looking for a town ideally a town with ship components that i can start buying again barrels tables uh and uh, ideally playing cards if we can find them training uh training uh, devices such as barbells and swords would also be extremely 
extremely uh, good for the ship as it stands. All right, a uh, decent shrimp ship this time. Got quite a few high health enemies. Let's get in there. Now, one of the, the other things that I didn't actually mention in terms of uh, the items that I want to bring on is, is just morale preserving, if not restoring items. I believe that the playing cards either generate gold for you or they generate morale. But I know paintings and plants help to slow morale loss. So it would allow us to do more with the morale that we've got. There we go. Now let's get all of this taken care of. There we are. And open this up as well. Let's get the entire crew back. Okay, at this point, I am starting to feel fairly confident with what our crew can do. And again, that is where I start making silly decisions. But we're all going to have scurvy, or soon enough. We desperately need to get somewhere where we can take care of that. Armory, grocery store, sailing store, and general store. Sounds like a good one. Governor Run. Very well, let's head on to Governor Run. Should we go through this area? We've got a 20% chance to get sea monsters. And it was pointed out, this is a very, very shy 20% chance. We've been to many places with 20% chance of sea monsters. Have yet to see sea monsters. Hmm. I call shenanigans. Okay, there was nothing in the ocean. Uh, well, I mean, there were islands in the ocean, and that's where we've gone on to. There, there was nothing at the destination. The 20% once again eluded us. Eventually, we will get it. All right, let's get rid of you whilst you're on land. Uh, I'm not going to attack a doggo. Look, I gave an entire ship to a cat. I'd give an entire region of the ocean to a dog. All right, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, well, we got everything we could over here. Not too much for us to do, so we will head on back. But we are heading back. Uh, did I actually grab everything from the tetra bush? Let me just double check that. Uh, yes, we did, by the looks of it. Mm, you know what? I'm here anyway. I may as well just quickly check. But we're going to head on to Governor Run. That seems to be the best place for us to head. Ah, I didn't grab everything. There we go. It was worth me checking back then for that. But we should be able to buy quite a lot of items. Paintings and plants especially. Light step has improved for Apple Fumble. Well done, you. Right, let's head on out. We are heading over here. Governor Run. And then following that, we could head down to Big Bunch. Both of them got an armory. Both of them got a grocery store. Only one of them has a witch hat. But this also has a library of wisdom. So we do want to head down there. Pick up, if nothing else, swimming skill for every member of the crew genuinely it is worth its weight in gold being able to not simply drown if you get pitched over the side of the ship absolutely worth it the only other way to survive drowning if you get thrown over the the side of the ship is if you have a specific consumable item and if you can get the same effect out of just uh, learning a skill especially considering it does seem like there's a lot of skill uh, room for skills I just don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to go for that one personally. Ahoy! All right, let's get down here then. Find out. We've got a greater fool over there, a debtor, a piracy missionary. Uh, I need my captain down here, though, to uh, be able to pay the docking fee. That is a very small docking fee, considering the ship. Unless... Unless shrimp blocks are less durable than wood blocks. I mean, it would make sense... And if that is the case, then we definitely need to upgrade our ship. Uh, but first, let's have a quick look. I am quite taken by grabbing a shovel. <laughs> God damn, these shovels cost so much. Uh, I was going to buy so many other things. But now, no. Actually, not going to be buying anything else. As it happens, no. Uh, I'll sell the, the spear, though. That's fine. All right, let's uh, move on. I'm going to need some citrus. That is definitely a requirement so citrus and fruits and i'll just buy a couple of those um buy another fruit as well now it doesn't look like we're actually going to have much uh, money to grab other things sadly i could get a wooden table i can grab a plant improves morale for the crew uh captain chair also very much worth it because everyone gets 50 percent more experience i'm going to grab that and if there is anything else i can buy Save over here I will, but I suspect I might not be able. I can buy toilet paper. I can buy a chicken nest. Uh, lamps, spare swords. Uh, barrel. 
Hmm. I mean, the barrel does have the advantage of giving us more plunder. And I've been told this continues to, to stack. Might well be worth us grabbing then in that case. All right, let's uh, actually... No, let me leave the shop so I can, in fact, uh, build without the shop overlay. And uh, let's have a look at what we've got. All right, miscellaneous, we've got barrels. Uh, how about we store all the barrels down here? Got a captain's chair. I wouldn't mind creating a, a, a room for the captain back here. Sure, we'll pop the captain's chair in there, and I'll, I'll consider making a proper room out of this. And we'll probably have to move things around as time goes on, but uh, for the time being, that seems okay. Pop down some of the fruit. Uh, we'll add more as necessary. The rest of it will be fish, though. And that is the lot for now. Yeah, that, well, actually, we've got five of these. I can probably afford to start replacing these. There we go. And then these two can be the same style as well. There we are. Uh, if I'm doing that, though, I probably want to do it down here as well to make it look intentional. All right. Not at all bad. I like it. Right, everyone, you can all get back aboard, though, sadly, at this point, have no more cash. I was really expecting our cash to last us longer, but no. Still, having the captain's chair is going to mean that the rest of the crew is going to start leveling up much, much faster. I'm extremely excited to see where that takes us. But uh, the main thing is we're going to be able to stave off the effects of scurvy for a little while longer. And we're going to start accruing barrels on the lowest deck. It kind of makes sense for that to be the store. Uh, we will build up a load of barrels down there so that further ship plundering will be especially good for us. Now, if we want to, we could head all the way up north, or I could start hitting the village. Maybe, maybe start hitting the level 3 islands, but there are level 3 pirates over there, so I think that's really where we're going to be going. We're going to start uh, heading up to the northwest in this direction here. And off goes Mousy Karina to sit in the captain's chair. Oh, fantastic. Serve me some swill! I, uh, we don't have that. Um, hopefully you don't hold that against the uh, the crew. Uh, they're doing their best. They're keeping you fed. But yeah, being on the captain's chair, I, I don't think it's going to affect Mouse Karina's skill, so it's only going to be affecting uh, the rest of the, the peeps. Uh, Hoboken Pirate. Okay. Uh, some named pirates, many named pirates, and an oyster. And more... Oh, a tribal statue. Okay, well, this is going to be an interesting one. Now, we need to get down there as quickly as we can, lest uh, you get absolutely rushed, uh, which you are. All right, get in there as quickly as you can. Take them out. There we go. They are dodging like gods. That is terrifyingly bad. Disappoint. Right, get everyone around them so that we can actually uh, force their dodge skill down. If it works against us, it'll work for us. No fishing rod. Now, level 13. My lord. Level 13 fishing rod. Never thought I'd see the day. Actually, let's have a look at that level 13 fishing rod. I kind of want to know how much damage it does. It does 3.88, to be fair, and it's got 30 levels that it can go up to. All right. Chef's knife. Uh, okay. Well... Apple fumble. Uh, yes, you're gonna have a chef's knife from now. Oh, oh, okay. So this is uh, this goes over there. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll go with that. Uh, we've also got ball strike. Um, sure, I'll give you ball strike. Fishing, no. Counter attack, sure. Map awareness, no. Toilet study, maybe. Uh, we are going to give another map awareness though. That takes us up to level two. Perfect. Uh, I will give it to Apple F Apple Fumble, you will know how to poop properly. Uh, this is a very, very uh, luxurious skill. I hope you will do something wonderful with it. Uh, namely, not poop on the ship. Uh, give counterattack to Amira. No need to give fishing. If a pirate doesn't suffer any negative condition, this item will poison the pirate with spider poison. Um... I'm trying to work out why I would want that. 
genuinely trying to work out why that would be a good thing. But we do now have a shovel, which means 25% chance to parry attacks and 25% chance to stun an enemy for five seconds. This is not a bad weapon. This is actually genuinely a good weapon. I will give it to you. It's going to be a drop in, in damage, but we now have a shovel, which now means it may be worth us using the treasure map as well. There we are. We will find some treasure in the near future. All right, try to reduce their numbers as quickly as you can. That's right, that's one. And change your focus. Keep drive driving them back from the group so that we're not subject to the penalty to our dodge. We are losing health, though. Uh, we will give you some extra chance to dodge. And I'm just going to straight up give you a, an elixir. A regular elixir. There we go. And a small one. We'll get you back up. Uh, let's see who else is a bit low. Manu, you're a bit low. Let's continue building your dodge. Give you a regular elixir. And Mouse Karina as well. Regular elixir for you. And a small elixir. There you go. Keep focusing. Keep driving them back. There we go. Back to the ship, because then if we absolutely need to just get out of here, we can. I think we have greatly reduced their numbers at this point. And we should be able to hold our own for now. I don't fear being too far away from the ship any longer. But let's just double check again. We've got 32 there. Let's drop you some small elixirs, increase your agility some more. Wow, you had a lot of agility to use there, to be fair. Uh, anyone else? 42 on High Kaiser. Let's give you some more elixirs. And 47 on Manu. I will give you some crab meat. There we go. Now we do have a couple more people who can use some extra dodge chance. Mouse Karina is now over 100% uh, dodge chance, which is very, very nice indeed. Okay, that was absolutely marvellous. Oh, there's still someone alive. My bad. You can go ahead and uh, focus on them then. We've actually fought through an enormous amount of pirates on this island. I was kind of expecting one of them to surrender, if I'm honest. I was genuinely expecting someone to just surrender there. Well, let's grab what we can. Got another elixir. Let's get everyone involved in this oyster. Maybe taking out this oyster, rather. That was some pretty amazing level ups, though. And we got a pearl. Fantastic. Right, the tribal statue can result in a big old fight. So let's get everyone together. Make sure that I've spent all the TP that we've got, which I haven't. Uh, let's continue to bump up your agility. 85% dodge now. Let's have a quick look through what we've got. Light steps, cleaning, combat evasion. Do you have combat evasion? You do not. Therefore, I wish to give it to you. I'm also going to give light steps to my captain. There we are. Uh, we can give cleaning to someone else now. Um, I don't think there's really much reason to give it to a fisher because they probably will fish instead of cleaning, but I will give it to them for now, regardless. Uh, right, okay, so all things said and done, let's activate this. Uh, okay, tribal blessing. Raise. Fantastic, a bunch of things just improved. Uh, well, actually, no, those were me giving out the skills, but uh, this just gave us uh, a few TP to spend. Very nice indeed. All right, with that, then, I'm going to increase uh, HP. For anyone who's gotten up to 100% dodge chance, I will start handing out some to regeneration. I think maybe take vitality up to 10. That would probably be a nice place to get their stats up to. All right, we've got a very competent crew at this point let's get back to the ship though and whilst we're there i'm also going to place down some more citrus and fruit and as you can see the amount of fish we have is growing quite quickly i'm gonna pop a bunch of fish down here as well but we have so stupid amounts of fish uh to the point where realistically speaking we can now use that to make money. It doesn't make much, 
But if you have two fishes, you will end up selling like 50 fish, 100 fish, whenever you do eventually pop back to an island. Uh, so it is, it isn't a small amount of money. Um, it's small compared to plundering like level three or four ships, of course, but uh, still, it's definitely, definitely worth the effort. Right, okay, so onwards we go. I'm not going to take on a level four pirate just yet, but let's try and take on this pirate, this neutral, and that pirate and see what they have in store for us. Okay, pirate number one. Ooh, got some uh, nice block walls there. Decent health on the enemies, but nothing too terribly dangerous. I really should stop sending my crew over one at a time, though. That is a honest uh, problem. We we will end up losing someone by doing that. Uh, Captain, don't stand there, because you will get thrown off. All right, just focus for now. There we go. Just take him out. And back up. Honestly, we've managed to do most of this through ranged combat, which is not the norm, I would say. There we go. Let's finish them off as well, please and thank you. And there we go. Perfect. I'll grab all of the stuff on the floor. Again, I would love it if you would just auto-pick up things instead of having to walk over the stuff. Otherwise, you risk leaving it there. Uh, but there we are. Right, let's get back across and we'll see how much cash we get. Probably going to be about 200. There we go. And let's plunder the vessel. Make sure there's no one left over there. Yep, 210. Uh, wood wall blue. Not too bad. Right, moving on then. We've got quite a few level threes actually up here. No more towns though. Uh, ooh. There is treasure here. Interesting. We're going to go back. In fact, we'll go back and then we'll wrap up the episode there, because uh, just looking at the time. Uh, but I don't recall how to gather treasure, I'm going to be honest. But it, there should be an X marks the spot somewhere. I was assuming that the map would have put a, a new quest location. All right, look close to the waterline, as I recall that was the way you had to do it. Oh, okay, never mind. It's not close to the waterline anymore. It's actually very, very obvious. All right, well, <laughs> let's head on over then. Uh, we will need to bring the entire crew, because, oh, well, you don't really have to. You could just give the captain the shovel. But since the tribal statue is still pulsating, I think we might give it another try. It may have something else for us to investigate. But we do see where the treasure marker is. Was that there when I just ignored it before? If so, I'm terribly sorry. Right, let's see. We have got uh, more TP. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Right, let's get into position and see what there is to see over here. Can we... Uh, no? Do I have to give it to my captain? Because that's just going to be vexing. If that's the case. All right, you take a re uh, repair. I, I, I constantly change my mind on how I should pronounce that word. Uh, let's go ahead and rise skills. Mascarina, continue taking that up. We're going to try and take it up to about 150. All right, give you the shovel. There you go. And okay, it has to be the captain. Fair enough. And we got a treasure chest. Wow, okay, that was actually pretty good. All right, let's have a quick look at this. Got a black cape, plus 20% dodge chance, and glasses, allows to make out the details. Um, oh, it's just, just a flat. Okay, well, that's not bad, actually. No more poop. No, no, we're good. Um, more map awareness. Combat focus. Do I have combat focus on you? Uh, I do not, but I do now. Uh, okay, well, that's actually not a bad item. Sure, I'll give that out. Uh, we will also continue to rise agility there. Right, for our fishermen. Well, honestly, I kind of feel that auto elixir is more useful than most of these things. So maybe not, but uh, we'll see how things go. Right, well, we've got the treasure, and that is going to be the last thing that we do in this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed this one. We have massively upgraded the ship. Sadly, I can't say that it is because I redesigned the ship, but 
I, I think we can all agree that passing up on the opportunity to take this ship, that would have just been me being stubborn. Uh, but here we are. We've got a, a, a nice, a big, bulky vessel. I very much want to replace the hull blocks with wood hull blocks, but I do kind of like the design of the interior. I especially like that our captain has somewhere to sit. And slowly but surely, we will try and fill this entire area up with barrels that we can then uh, store all of the extra plunder in. But that is going to be it from me. I always look forward to any feedback you have down in the comments below. So if you have noticed anything that I may have missed or you just have general tips, then don't be shy. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.